And welcome back to Farm Bureau's Voices of Agriculture. You know, each fall, our state's young farmers and ranchers take an educational tour in a different region of the state where they name the Excellence in Agriculture winner and tour various ag operations. Melissa Bratton traveled along in Upper East Tennessee. Young farmers from across the state gathered in East Tennessee's Sullivan County for the fall tour in October, where they toured local farms and businesses that use agricultural products. Bristol, baby! It's Bristol, baby! <laughs> and we're glad to have everybody from everywhere in the state of Tennessee to come to East Tennessee. At least part of the people know what it is to change time zones. A lot of effort's been put in by our young farmer and rancher group, and it is evident today. They didn't just start five minutes before the bus shows up. And uh, I appreciate these tours from the education that they can provide. Um, they figure out around here we don't grow soybeans so much and cotton. We don't grow at all. You know, coming from a row crop area in West Tennessee and being able to come over here to, the, to see these mountains and how different the agriculture uh, sector is here in Sullivan County. And, but to see my friends across the state as well and hear their stories and the way that their operations are. And, and especially seeing here on, on, on Cleek Family Farms with the agritourism and the, the way their operation is, is the way they do that. So it's, it's pretty neat. And that's the good thing about Fall Tour, how we're on a rotation. So we get to see all the varieties of agriculture across our state. I do enjoy coming to it. I um, don't have an extensive ag background, so I like learning about the different parts of the ag industry in different parts of our state. So I came to the fall tour, my friend Laura um, invited me. Um, I have an ag background, I worked on the dairy, um, volunteered with the dairy in MTSU when I was a college student and was in FFA when I was in high school. It's real neat seeing all the different ways everyone farms and it's real cool. It's been very interesting, I've learned lots of new things. I'll definitely come back. It's really good to be able to come to our area and really show off. I feel like East Tennessee kind of gets forgot about sometimes. And so it's, it's nice to show it off and tell people, show people what you've been telling them all these years, so. And I think it does provide a unique perspective. I know a couple years ago when we went to West Tennessee, I'd certainly never seen anybody harvest cotton before. Um, but just kind of makes you aware that there are a lot of different sectors and, and commodity groups. Of course, here where we're at, mostly cow-calf folks and uh, things that are a little more related to industry through our ag products. And so we've got a chance to see some of that as part of this tour. You need to stay involved in young farmers as long as you can and stay involved in the Farm Bureau as long as you can because they are always out there fighting for the farmers and we need to thank them for all that they do. It's very, very nice that we get to see all these other farmers out here and uh, there's this many people still farming. Uh, that's a big plus. Uh, in the dairy industry, you know, it's on, everybody's kind of quitting it. The milk's not so good, but, you know, to still look around and see all these people farming, that's, that's a big, that's an encouragement to everybody that's young. Our farm is, um, I believe, the eighth generation of farm here. We started in 1777. We're milking 210 right now, and at our peak, we might milk 240. We're shipping about 12,000 pounds of milk a day, so that's about 6,000 gallons. They also held their Excellence in Agriculture contest with 10 outstanding competitors vying for the top honor. Doug and Julie Giles from Marshall County were named state winners at the banquet Saturday night. Disbelief. Um, I, I think when you start out in this organization, this seems so unachievable and unimaginable. Um, and we really haven't done anything but just go out in our community, advocate for agriculture, um, get involved, and, and really just, we, we said yes so many times, and, and it just ended us up here. Just uh, the moment uh, to be proud of our hard work and then uh, be proud to represent Tennessee uh, for this organization and in this contest. What really motivated us uh, with young farmers and ranchers is competing in collegiate discussion meets uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. Both of us were um, able to win our colleges. Uh, Doug won the state contest and I was runner up and then we went on to compete at nationals. We met a great group of people there. Um, just that group of people really told us a lot about that organization during that convention. And at that point, Doug and I were just like, we really like these people. This organization is what we're about.
and just decided just to stay involved and continue to compete. And our congratulations to Doug and Julie Giles again of Marshall County. They will compete for national honors at the American Farm Bureau Convention in January. Next, a mid-state tour for commissioners.